we have to pay attention to every little detail. Hello and welcome to my first podcast. I'm your host, Max Rock, and today you're listening to Details Matter. As I said in my last episode, I'm not sure if you listened to it. If not, feel free to pause and go back. It's just a qu quick um, yeah, update episode this time. So last week I announced my 75 heart challenge, which was also accompanied with a blog post, which was great because it was something I could look back to help me to be accountable to what I committed and don't need to actually listen to my own entire podcast to know it so I could just flick over um, in the area where I had questions. So as I mentioned in the article, my challenge started with, uh, I think it was set to be 48 hours fast. So it was 48 hours only water. I said I keep my, um, my supplements so I kept my um, my morning um, daily which is like gut proteins uh, not proteins it's gut biomes and um, magnesium at a later stage and um, omegas for my brain and stuff like that I kept them but I didn't add any protein shakes or something like that so that was said to be 48 hours so from Sunday afternoon to Thursday morning but then I was yeah getting into meetings uh, Thursday morning when I was allowed to eat and it ended up to be I think it was like 80 89 hours 30 minutes which to be honest was not actually the hard part in in the challenge which might sound crazy I've done 272 hour fast before and the difference between 72 and 89 wasn't that hard to me because like the difference is really mostly sleep and then I was busy so I couldn't really think of of, of eating anything so I'm not sure if you have done any any fast like that I would like to um, to hear your thoughts on it or feel free to reach out to me and tell me what what, what your thoughts are on um, doing like multiple day fasts and stuff like that but the challenge then also on Sunday it was um, I was doing outside workout and uh, and I went swimming, which was my second workout for 45 minutes. So the um, the 45 minute swimming, if I haven't done that long before, also brought me a new record in my I think longest distance or most calorie burn, something like that. I'm not 100 sure, which was great. Um, which was something I enjoyed. I was proud of, and um, I done a workout before that outside on. Um, actually my balcony so we have a balcony it's totally open it's actually quite windy <laughs> when it has wind and it goes you can see like trees and everything so it's it's very open and what I did was I saw it, um, something I haven't done for ages is uh, doing like jump rope and yeah I did actually not remember how much it actually yeah tears down your your calves so I done jump rope for 45 minutes. Obviously I didn't jump through the 45 minutes entirely. So I had like five minutes, half a minute, minute break, two to five minutes again, half a minute break and so forth for the 45 minutes. But it was very, very tough for me. And um, done the swimming. And on Monday morning I could really feel how my calves were tightening up, how, um, I haven't really used them that much so um, I went to the gym on on Monday if I'm not mistaken um, went to the gym on Monday and then um, my outside workout must have been a brisk walk so I've done a brisk walk outside which was like a little must be 10 minutes per kilometer or so so not not overly slow not overly fast so just uh, just the right pace in my opinion and yeah that was that was the Monday no food so nothing really to do there um, my reading I had done I had done in bed I think before going to sleep 
so that was not too much hassle either and that was great for for the first day I thought second day then um, the Tuesday got a lot harder I have to admit it was much harder my legs are was still in bits they were really really sore so what I did on Tuesday then also was a brisk walk outside this time a little bit faster 950 per kilometer but still very yeah, I was sweating coming back, so I think that was great. And um, just, um, yeah, because I did manage to do a workout in the morning, or do a, do a one during the lunch break, um, which is probably not possible when I travel every way anyway. So I have the opportunity right now, as you know, we expect a, a baby soon. So we, I'm working from home now, so I can, do those workouts morning lunch evening that's what how I separated them right now on Tuesday I wasn't able to do any anything in the morning didn't get up early enough to, to get that done and couldn't do one during the lunch break either so I had to do one Tuesday straight after work it was my outside walk brisk walk very fast walk almost five kilometers in 45 minutes as I walk sweating and my calves were hurting as crazy doing that walk I'm walking slowly I wasn't able to actually do it when I got faster it distracted me a little bit from my from my calves so um, that was tough then I had um, after the walk I had like one and a half hours break maybe an hour 45 minutes um, and I done a second workout um, it was actually a little bit longer than the 45 minutes um, because I added a few stretches in. So I used like a black roll, um, stretched my calves, um, yeah, calves, my, my back, my neck a little bit, which felt very good. So it was like almost an hour workout. Um, yeah, was upper body mostly because I wouldn't strip to anything on my legs again. But it was, that was good, yeah, that was great. And, um, yeah, progress pictures, which I still have to do one today. Um, there, you have to have you have to put it up. So I put reminders in my phone to make sure I do those things. Uh, make sure I drink the volume. Which sometimes I had days where um, I had to drink down two and a half liter the last one and a half hours before I get to bed, just to make sure I have the volume done. Which um, if you can manage to do it earlier during the day, I would recommend because then you go get up to get to the restroom. Like I think last night it was like three or four times to get up. So it's not not that great. Um, yeah, wouldn't wouldn't recommend it. So then um, the Wednesday, third day on the fast, um, I went outside for a run during lunch. So I went outside almost 50 minutes or so six and a half kilometer run slow pace very low heart rate so i know i'm getting myself into the marathon preparation so i got that done and um yeah well so if you think um the title doesn't match yet details matter it's because i'm not getting to the point yet I'm getting through my days and then at the time when it matters i will tell you so stay tuned my second workout for the day then so my fast at this point was at like 70 hours something um, and my second workout then was I was driving to the gym and uh, done weight workout so heavy weight lifting for 48 minutes um, it was very good yeah enjoyed that upper body bit of um, biceps, triceps, shoulders, um, and abs. So that's what I've done on, on the Wednesday. And um, yeah, they're pretty much 
brings me to the day the wednesday was actually when i ha when i have my coaching call as well so i was up very late until like 1 1 30 in the night got that done um and therefore i slept a little bit longer so i got up straight back to work in the morning and straight up to work correct and i get i had a couple of hours left i think um no not today yesterday uh on thursday um until i was allowed to eat so i keep working away then um i got my my protein uh, muesli i had with my uh, coconut yogurt um got this prepared on thursday and had that which was which was great and then had more energy felt very very good and um yeah it was great then during the lunch break i used the time to do um yeah another actually inside workout um in the apartment so a few kettlebells some uh um elastic bands with like handles on it which i can stand on and do different exercises or so use them for also 40 48 minutes also ab exercises inside and um yeah pushed myself there to also train my upper body um before then my second workout then was in the evening was a run again um lower pace or not lower pace was try to stay in below 150 heart rate uh done that for 45 minutes almost six kilometer which yeah my i added magnesium um into as a supplement because I knew my um, my legs didn't feel well or my calves didn't feel well, so I added this in, and I could feel that um, already helping me. So I think I added that in on Wednesday or so. Um, yeah, and that already helped me. It was it felt much smoother on on Thursday to get that done. It was was great, yeah. And that brings me to today, Friday, when I record that, um, and. What I then realized was when I was allowed to eat again, I wanted to start my timer. I use a, a app called um, Zero, Zero Fasting Timer, and I put my timers in there so I know exactly when I can eat and when not. And when I have finished a 42 hours fast, ending up to a 89 hours fast, I realized I have to set the next timer. So I looked and I said like, yeah, usually I do 16 and eight fast. So 16 hours fasting, eight hours loyal to eat. So you can easily eat at seven, 7.30 and then eat until like, um, what's it then? Uh, like three, three-ish, three, three to four. So it's fine, you have eight hours eating. That's totally fine. Um, yeah, on Thursday then when I checked it, I wasn't sure what I put into the article. So I put up uh, the website, check what was on it, and then, yeah, I've seen that I put by accident down, I'm doing a 18.6, so 18 hours fast, 6 hours eating a day during that 75 days. And then, yeah, I was kind of very surprised, <laughs> and I knew... I probably should have checked what fast I have done before, before putting it in. And then I said to myself, well, I have committed to it. I put it out to the world. I put it out to myself. I, re I wrote it at the end. I have to commit to it. And on Thursday, when I um, done the six hours, I had my breakfast. I had lunch. And I think that ended up to like 1,050 calories or so. So I put them also in, what's, I'm not sure what it's called. Let me check um, my fitness pal um, to to check them and um, yeah I had like 1050 calories or so then I prepared some snack which was like fish avocado and I think yeah some some cheese or so I'm not 100% sure what it was um, no no it's still in the fridge actually prepared that and um, yeah when I prepared it I checked the 
the timer on my app and I saw, oh no, I'm six hours 30 over. So I can't actually eat that anymore. So I started the timer, putting the time in when I have my lunch and wrapped it up my snack and put it in the fridge. Then in the evening I got a notification from Fitness Pal that um, I'm way too low on my calories. I should be eating at least um, 12, uh, 1300 to 1500 calories a day. Um, and then I realized that the six hours I gave myself to eat aren't actually very much to put 1500 calories in there if you're not kind of putting the portions up doing like the bigger meals or make sure that you have that snack within that six hours somewhere and that's very easy to miss so that's why I have to set myself reminders to make sure have food prepared before the reminder goes off and when the reminder starts I always have something handy I can just put into the mo my mouth and eat to make sure I put I have the calories up because with the 90 plus minutes workout a day I just need the 1500 calories maybe even 1800 so I'm not going over 2000 calories uh, although of the exercise but I'm, I'm gonna have to get there so closely to to like 1800 1900 a day um, certainly there will be days where I reach um, the 2000 2200 maybe even 2500 um, later in, in February when I do 25 30 30 plus kilometer runs preparing for my marathon there will be no way I can can eat less than that no idea how I fit it into 36 uh, six hours of eating because I'm gonna be running three hours or so probably have to get some snacks for on the way or something like that um, certainly there will be something I have to figure out and um, yeah I will update you on that as well and that that's for me so if you do something if you challenge yourself and you don't want to accidentally make it harder than it, than you were looking for it to be, which I did, then pay attention to the details. Details really matter. And if we don't pay attention to the details in every area, we don't pay attention anywhere. So make sure you pay attention everywhere. Details matter. And that's it for me today. Thank you for listening. I'm your host Max Rick, until next time.